Welcome back to our Jenkins tutorial series. In this episode, we will explore a continuous integration by demonstrating how to seamlessly integrate GitHub with Jenkins. By connecting these powerful tools, we will enhance our automation capabilities, trigger builds with code change, and streamline our development workflow. I have also created a playlist on Azure DevOps, Azure Functions, Azure Logic Apps, and Azure Database for MySQL. If you are interested, I will provide link to those videos in the description box. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. In the next video, we will learn how to install plugins in Jenkins. To integrate GitHub with Jenkins, let's go to our browser. So as we already know, Jenkins by default runs on localhost 8080. So let's provide our username and password. And sign in. So once we have successfully signed in, first of all, we need to install some plugins to integrate Jenkins with GitHub. So let's go to many Jenkins. So here we have to click on plugins. So here click on available plugins and search for github so actually i have already installed these two plugins on my machine so i will click on install plugins search for github github plugin and this github integration plugin so once you install these two plugins go back to dashboard Click on Manage Jenkins. Now we have to set some configurations for GitHub. Then click on System Configurations. So here, let's go to GitHub section. So here, this is the GitHub section. If you can see on my screen. So here, let's give some name. Like I have given my GitHub or you can give some other arbitrary name that you wish then it provide the github url api url this will be there by default then we have to add some credentials here if we wish let click on this add jenkins so i have already added my username and password for github here if you wish you could add some other type of credentials like uh, secret key or secret text but i am going with username and password then we have to choose the scope of the credentials like where these credentials will be accessible where these credentials will be used so these credentials will be used on jenkins on nodes where we are going to run our project on all items or end child items so here you provide your username and then you provide your password here set some id by this id you will it will be easy for us to differentiate our github account from other credentials then we can also enter some description for these credentials click on add once you have added this click so i have already added my credentials i will show you how these credentials work with github integration so after uh, making these changes click on save and now let's create our new project let's choose the freestyle project and let's say github integration Click on freestyle project then click on ok now here on source code management choose git instead of none then we have to provide the url of the project from github so let's go to github So if you have not already created a repository on GitHub earlier, then you can create a new repository or if your project is already there on GitHub, then you can directly go to that particular project. So I have these two projects on GitHub. One of this code byte and this is desktop tutorial default by default provided by GitHub. So I have created this code byte project on GitHub or we can say repository. Click on this. 
copy the path and once you copy this path from here go to your Jenkins paste this here then we have to choose the credentials as I already told you how to add credentials so I will add my github credentials here after this we have to choose the branch so I have only one branch that's main after choosing the branch so we can also add some build triggers and build environment settings but we have discussed these settings already in the previous video I'm not going to do, discuss these settings again here in the next video we will learn how to install plugins and add credentials to the Jenkins so now we can have some post build actions also after performing all those actions we can save this task here so now our project is github integration is ready click on build now so it will start building let's go to console so we have successfully copied our project from github so we can see here finish it success so in the next video we will learn how to install plugins and add credentials to the Jenkins. Thanks.